Greetings, my name is Kathy Fung. I'm with California Common Cause, and we are so pleased to be standing here together with our allies to support Yes on 59. <laughs> our allies include uh, Money Out Voters In Coalition, uh, CCMC, California Clean Money, CalPerg, yay! <laughs> Move to Amend, and many, many other organizations up and down uh, California. What we're here to say is that voters need to pay attention to Proposition 59 because it instructs our congressional members to take action on one of the most important issues in this year's election, and that is getting rid of money, it's overwhelming power in politics, and lifting the voices of regular people. Prop 59, if passed, would send a clear instruction to our congressional members, many of whom who have not yet signed onto congressional amendments that would pass a constitutional uh, amendment to overturn Citizens United. And so this clear message, if voters vote yes on Prop 59, would send a message to our congressional members, as well as the rest of the nation, that it is time to overturn this despicable decision by the Supreme Court, Citizens United versus FEC. We're really pleased to welcome our hero, <laughs> and I think that's not too small of a word, Senator Ben Allen, who has stood with us on so many different issues, whether that's opening up access in elections, uh, creating transparency in campaign finance, lifting up the voices of small donors, and in this case, sending a clear message to our congressional members that it's time to overturn Citizens United. Please join me in welcoming Senator Ben Allen. Well, thank you, everybody, and welcome to the 26th Senate District. Here we are in Westchester celebrating this wonderful occasion where we're going to be talking about Proposition 59, why it's so important to keeping our, our, our system, uh, to making our system a little cleaner. Uh, one of my colleagues in this fight to get this measure onto the ballot uh, would, would often say that the power of one's voice in our political process here in our democracy should not be determined by the size of one's wallet or the size of one's checkbook. And I think that's really what this is all about. Ultimately, Democrats and Republicans, folks from across the spectrum, the, the message that's been loud and clear throughout this entire election cycle is that the role of money in our political system is becoming increasingly corrosive, that it's becoming increasingly impactful, and that it's detracting from the vibrancy, from the vitality, from the, the, the health of our democratic system. And at the core, of this problem, at least from a, from a legal and legislative perspective, is the jurisprudence that builds up to and culminates in Citizens United, which was the decision made by the Supreme Court that really does impact our ability uh, on, the, on the local and state level to enforce a certain level of accountability and transparency to our system. In our current system. We have folks that are springing up with all sorts of Orwellian names like, you know, Americans for, 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 for clean apple pie and uh, all sorts of things that are hard to disagree with, uh, but that ultimately have very little transparency and very little accountability. We've created a, a campaign finance system that, that has limits, that has disclosure laws to make sure that voters can immediately know who is engaging in the political process, who's giving directly to candidates, and they then also can know what the candidates are doing with their money. That's a system that actually has some, some meaning. That's, some, that's a system that has some accountability. But with the growth of these outside groups, whether they be independent expenditures, whether they be super PACs that are off on the side that literally are not allowed to have any direct coordination with the campaigns, that are able to take unlimited amounts of money with, with questionable levels of disclosure, that are off on the side, increasingly engaging in the process, it's actually becoming much more of a problem. I think it's really starting to impact the, the vibrancy and vitality of our civic life and our democracy. So that's why we came forward with Proposition 59, to give the voters of the largest state in the country the opportunity to weigh in on what is perhaps the most important constitutional question of the day, the role of money in politics. Now look, this bill, this, this proposition won't change the situation overnight. 
Uh, but it's part of a long process. No constitutional change of any meaning ever took place overnight. It took place as a result of the growth of a movement, of a broader trajectory. That's what we're trying to do here. We're trying to give the voters of the people of our largest state the opportunity to weigh in and start to push this ball forward on the national level and wake up our national consciousness with regards to the role of money in politics. That's why it's so important that we have so many extraordinary organizations here who've been fighting every step of the way to try to make our system cleaner. It's why we had so much support in the legislature. It, folks who have gone through the process themselves of having to raise money and engage in the process, they, they know how difficult it is and they want to see the system cleaned up. Uh, it's why the governor let this go on the ballot because he understands how important an issue this is on the national level. And so we're really hoping that, that voters will take a, a long hard look at this. We've already gotten some fantastic support from across the political spectrum, from editorial boards, from all over the state because people recognize the fact that in the end of the day we We've got to clean up our system. This is an important step in that process. And I'm just Im immensely proud to stand with these incredible people who fight every day for a cleaner American political system. I'm proud to be with them. I'm proud to, to stand with them. And I strongly urge my fellow Californians to play a role, to step up to this historical moment and play a role in helping to overturn some of the most deleterious jurisprudence that we've ever seen in our country. Let's clean up our system. Let's make it more accountable. Let's bring it back to the people where it belongs. And let's vote yes on Proposition 59. Thank you so much. Thank you.